Volkswagen Passat B6 attracts with a combination of price, manufacturability, and relative freshness. But the model turned out to be transitional and new technologies were not completely run in. Therefore, the VW Passat B6 has many nodes that you should pay more attention to when buying a used copy. Overconfidence can be costly. At the same time, the advantages of the model are enough to consider it as an option for purchase. Read on where to look and what to choose. In addition to the standard sedan and station wagon bodies, the Passat B6 also had a special modification, a four-door coupe Passat CC. This version is radically different in appearance and more richly equipped, although technically it is the same B6. The body is galvanized, but the paintwork is weak. The rear arches, the bottom of the front doors, and the places of chips corrode quite actively. Especially if you do not eliminate corrosion at the initial stage. Check the rear doors around the rubber seals. If you do not wash the car for a long time, then the dirt accumulated in these places completely wipes the paintwork. Knowing these weaknesses, it is better to paste over problem areas with a special armored film. It will be much cheaper than a body repair. Gasoline engines Volkswagen has never stinted on a variety of engines and their modifications. Of these, only two are old and time-tested, the rest are progressive and with their own troubles. Some are quite harmless, but there are also, God forbid they break. Let's start in order. 1.6 MPI a simple and reliable 8-valve engine with multiport injection, which is not often found on the Passat B6. The counterweight to reliability is low power. If this fact does not annoy, then the Passat with such an engine will help save money on repairs and fuel. Although you should not count on a consumption of less than 10 liters in the city. It was also not without weaknesses. One of them is vibration. There can be two sources, one, factory firmware, it is treated by increasing the idle speed by flashing the control unit. Two, a crack in the intake manifold and unstable operation due to sucking in of air, only replacement with a new one will help. After a run of 200,000 kilometers, an oil appetite may wake up. Most often, the replacement of valve stem seals and piston rings helps. With good maintenance, the potential of the BSE motor can reach 400 to 500,000 km without major repairs. The BSF version has a reduced compression ratio to 10.3 and complies with lower environmental standards Euro 2 or 3. With such engines, cars were sent to developing markets with poor fuel and low environmental standards. Timing drive in both versions is belt driven. 1.6 FSI and more powerful direct injection engine. There are more problems with it than with MPI. The engine is designed for 98 gasoline and low quality fuel often causes the check engine error with a drop in traction and an increase in consumption. With direct injection and high quality gasoline, you can meet 8 liters per hundred. But there is also a downside. Only air passes through the intake valves and the head of the block cools worse. The result is heavy carbon deposits on the valves, which leads to a drop in power and unstable operation. Cleaning work is expensive. At risk is the timing chain and its tensioner. The latter can fail and, in combination with chain stretching, will provoke an expensive overhaul. Replacing the timing kit will cost about $300 with spare parts. To eliminate the consequences you will have to add another zero to the cost. The BLF was discontinued after 2008. If you are looking for a Passat B6 with a 1.6 liter engine, then the MPI version will be a more reasonable choice, despite less power and more consumption. 1.4 TSI smaller in volume, but not in power. Almost repeats all the shortcomings of the previous engine with direct injection. Features a turbine. This is like a minus an additional spare part that is sensitive to the quality of engine oil. So plus additional power with the possibility of chip tuning. All Passat direct injection engines of the 6th generation are designed for gasoline with an octane rating of 98. Therefore, problems with soot, fuel pump and ignition coils are quite logical in our area. There is a rather rare modification of 1.4 TSI CDGA with the EcoFuel prefix. The motor is adapted to work on methane. 
In such machines, the fuel tank has been cut down to 31 liters, and additional gas cylinders for 21 cubic meters have been installed. The engine differs not only in the type of fuel. In order for the piston system to withstand the high octane number of CNG gas, forged pistons were installed. The turbine was also installed with a more powerful KKK K03 and supplemented with an Eaton TVS mechanical compressor. Thanks to dual supercharging and a different ECU factory firmware, power has increased to 150 horsepower. Not a bad option to buy if there are methane gas stations in your area. 1.8 TSI almost 40% of VW Passat B6 with this engine are sold. This engine is not at all the one that was installed on the previous generation B5. Completely new unit of the EA888 series. Not all innovations have been beneficial. The first generation with the designation BZB was produced from 2007 to 2010. In addition to the traditional problems with the chain voiced above, revolutions can float due to coking of valves or faulty swirl flaps in the manifold. Since 2008, the Passat B6 began to be equipped in parallel with the upgraded second generation 1.8 TSI. The list of changes includes new pistons, which caused an exorbitant oil appetite. Thin piston rings and small bleed holes coke quickly and oil consumption increases rapidly as it gets dirty. The problem was solved only at the end of 2011, but this is the era of the Passat B7. To minimize the possibility of an oil disease, you cannot save on the quality of engine oil and do maintenance twice as often as the regulations. Some owners installed pistons from the first generation of BZB engines. Difference in letters. CDA A 160 horsepower and Euro 5. CDA B differs by reduced to Euro 4 firmware, 152 horsepower, with an oil burner, do not rush to change pistons, another reason may be an oil separator. 2.0 FSI atmospheric gasoline engine with timing belt drive. The latter must be replaced every 90,000 kilometers, but it is better to protect yourself from bent valves and reduce the period by 10 to 20,000 kilometer. In the early years, there was a problem with cold start, but after 2007, it was eliminated with the help of a new engine control unit firmware. There may also be a problem in the candles, replacing it helps. The 2-liter engine with the BVY index is designed for 98th gasoline and complies with Euro 4 standards. The use of low-quality fuel and oil causes carbon deposits on the valves and the occurrence of piston rings. Symptoms, unstable operation and high waste of engine oil. 2.0 FSI with the designation BVZ was developed for the Latin American market, therefore it is sharpened for Euro 2 standards and 95th gasoline. It differs not only in software. No EGR valve for gas recirculation. No catalyst. Installed candles of a different type. Two lambda probes instead of four. Immediately after buying a car, it is extremely important to check the condition, but it is better to replace the injection pump pusher. It is inexpensive, and the consequences of an untimely replacement will cost $400 to $500. This drive is a design flaw in the 2-liter Passat B6 engines. When it fails, it damages the camshaft and disables the injection pump. The resource of the pusher is in the region of 60 to 120,000 km, depending on the quality and timeliness of service. For peace of mind, it is best to change the part every time the timing belt is replaced on an ongoing basis. 2.0 TFSI at first glance, this motor differs from the previous one only in the presence of a turbine. But there are many more differences. Cast iron cylinder block instead of aluminum. Other crankshaft and pistons. New 16 valve cylinder head. Other camshafts and valves. This is practically a different engine, but the problems remain the same. Maslows are due to soot or a faulty crankcase ventilation valve, diesel due to stretching of the camshaft chain, unreliable injection pump pusher, and loss of power due to the N249 turbine bypass valve. The designation BPY is a sign of the Passat, originally from the USA. Such motors comply with the American Environmental Standards ULEV2. 
2.0 TSI came to replace TFSI in 2008. Structurally based on the first generation 1.8 TSI engine, it repeats all the problems of the progenitor, chain stretching and a tendency to coking. They can disturb the swirl flaps of the intake manifold, which failed due to soot. Traditionally, there is an American version of the motor with the CCTA index. 3.2 FSI and 3.6 FSI let's move on to heavy artillery. Large, powerful, and reliable. All six trade winds with VR6 engines were equipped with four motion all-wheel drive. They are based on one series of engines EA390. This is a mixture of a V-shaped and inline motor. Cast iron block with the lowest possible camber angle and staggered cylinders. The most powerful version of the R36 is almost impossible to find commercially. Even 3.2 liter engines are rare, only 0.5% of all offers. Of the potential problems, it is possible to leak crankshaft oil seals and fluid accumulation in the exhaust system. The latter feature is typical in the cold season when driving at low speeds. The car stops starting and in order to go you have to defrost the car and drain the water from the exhaust. In winter, before parking, it is better to give heat to evaporate the condensate. Radical owners even drill small holes in the exhaust system. Diesel engine sales of Passat B6 with diesel units are slightly more than 20%. About 15% of them are old, time-tested 1.9 TDI, the rest are 2.0 TDI. But with the latter, as always with VW, everything is not so simple, there are several modifications with their own characteristics. 1.9 TDI this engine has a halo of reliability, this is often the catch. Some buyers in the secondary market do not consider it necessary to carry out even a basic diagnosis before buying. They believe that the motor is time-tested and cannot break. Yes, the 1.9 TDI resource is more than 400,000 kilometers without intervention, but for this to become a reality, basic requirements must be met. Regular maintenance every 10,000 kilometers. Quality engine oil. If not original, then a good analog with the VW504-507 specification. Timely replacement pump injectors. If tightened, the seat becomes loose and fuel enters the oil. As a result, the car does not start well and the oil level is above normal. Do not forget about the banal mileage twist. New nozzles are expensive, if you're lucky to find an intelligent master, you can repair it. The camshaft cams are at risk, they wear out most often due to poor quality engine oil. To be replaced together with hydraulic lifters. 1.6 TDI this motor replaced the old man 1.9 TDI PD in 2009. The only thing they have in common is the number of horses, 105. Otherwise, this is a different engine based on the 2.0-liter EA189 series. The common rail fuel system with piezo injectors has proven itself well, with the exception of the cost of the injectors themselves. All in all, a worthy replacement. The motor is reliable, with normal maintenance it serves more than 350,000 kilometers without intervention. It is better to change the timing belt a little earlier than the recommended regulation of 120,000 kilometers of the minus's power. For a Passat weighing almost one and a half tons, this engine is rather weak. 2.0 TDI in fact, the same 1.9 TDI, only with a different cylinder head for 16 valves and two camshafts. The exception is motors with the index BMA and BMP, they have an eight valve head. The fuel system was left with pump injectors. With age, questions to the turbine are possible. Due to a violation of the geometry, overblowing occurs and traction disappears. Possible options for repair or replacement for adequate money. A more serious problem comes in the form of wear on the hex drive of the oil pump. 2.0 TDI these 2 liter diesels replaced those described above in 2008. The main innovation is the transition from unit injectors to the Bosch common rail fuel system with piezo injectors. The engines turned out to be very successful with a resource of more than 400,000 kilometers. 
A motor with the designation CBAC differs from CBAB only in firmware. The most powerful modification of CBBB has a large Borg Warner BV43 turbine, electromagnetic injectors, another ECU, and no swirl flaps in the intake manifold. The latter are available on 140-143 strong versions of the new generation diesel unit and can wedge over time. Transmission switch boxes on the Passat B6 were installed differently, but the notorious DSG caught up with fear most of all. The automatic robotic gearbox with two clutches had outstanding characteristics in terms of shifting speed, but in fact turned out to be very raw. For at least five years, the manufacturer has eliminated jams and changed boxes under warranty. The most problematic automatic transmission DSG DQ200 with a dry clutch was installed on the trade winds with younger gasoline engines less than 1.8 liters inclusive. The rest were equipped with a more resourceful DQ250 with a wet clutch or a classic hydromechanical Japanese automatic TF60SN from Aizen. Thanks to the many breakdowns, the craftsmen are already well able to diagnose and repair DSG boxes. Improved parts have been released and most of the boxes have already been refurbished. Therefore, when choosing a used VW B6 with DSG, you should first of all pay attention to high quality diagnostics and confirmed service documents. Since even reinforced parts will not work for a long time without an oil change and in a harsh operating mode. The main symptoms of a faulty DSG. Jerky acceleration. Jolts occur when driving at low speeds. Clicks or crunch during acceleration, especially noticeable in traffic jams. Abrupt shifting from third gear to fourth. In any case, the repair will be expensive and the risk of its occurrence is high. Some people think that the regular TF60SN machine guarantees them trouble-free operation. Yes, his resource is many times higher but subject to regulated maintenance with high quality oil and a gentle driving mode. Therefore, the main conclusion is that without a thorough diagnosis of the automatic transmission, you cannot buy a VW Passat B6. There are manual boxes for five and six steps. Sentencing them is much more difficult, but there are related parts in the form of a flywheel and clutch. The resource of the latter decreases many times as a result of incendiary exploitation. It is possible to leak oil seals after 100,000 kilometers. A dual mass flywheel is twice as expensive and is found on almost all diesel engines. Suspension compared to the previous generation B5, the front suspension has been simplified. Instead of a multi link, a regular McPherson strut was installed. And at the rear, on the contrary, the semi independent beam was replaced with a multi link suspension. Against the background of potential problems with engines and DSG, the chassis should not bother you at all. In the early years of production, there were problems with the durability of the silent blocks of the front lower arms. They failed after 30 to 40,000 km in 2008, they were replaced with reinforced ones. In the secondary market, the resource depends on previously installed spare parts. In the original, the front suspension is able to withstand 100,000 kilometers, the rear 200,000. If the chassis was updated with Chinese ball and silent blocks before the sale, then it will be enough for 10 to 30,000 kilometer for motion all-wheel drive is very rare, but will not cause additional trouble. The Haldux coupling is very reliable and works flawlessly. If you do not forget to change the oil in it every 60,000 kilometers, brakes, steering, and electrical in these nodes, problems are more electrical than mechanical. The inscription about the malfunction of the steering column on the dashboard means that the ELV blocking unit has failed. If you stock up on courage, a soldering iron, and smoke half the internet, then you can fix it yourself. At the service, they will charge up to $500 for such a repair, and the officials change the entire steering column assembly. The electronic handbrake in the Passat B6 also sends with the failure of the electronic part. An inexpensive salon power button or electric drives and calipers can fail. Potential problems with the steering rack. The probability largely depends on the generation of Reiki. There were at least three of them. 
In the first years of production, warranty cases often arose due to a strong knock on the steering wheel after 40 to 50,000 km therefore, it was constantly improved. For this reason, rail repair is well mastered even in garage conditions. If you have reached the final section of such a lengthy article, you can be awarded a medal. And you can handle any Passat. Seriously, choosing a Volkswagen Passat B6 is difficult. There are many offers on the secondary market and not all of them are in good condition. Since the machine is technically complex, capricious in places, money is needed for decent maintenance. Not all owners are aware of this. On the other hand, Passat B6 gives business class comfort and the pleasure of driving a quality car for an adequate starting price. The safest option with a 1.6 liter engine and a manual transmission, it is also the most boring, with a stripped down package. But diesel engines can provide decent dynamics without sacrificing reliability. Buying a used Passat of the 6th generation is the case when it is absolutely impossible to save money on high quality diagnostics. Check the engine and transmission first. A well-chosen instance is guaranteed to allow you to feel the quality of the German car industry without being distracted by annoying little things.